In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make all sounds louder in Windows 10 and other versions, even if your volume bar is set at the maximum of 100. Before we start, I would like to say that I'm not responsible for any broken headphones or hearing loss, so when we get to the stage of changing the volume, please increase it slowly and don't make it too loud for you. So whether you use headphones, speakers or any other output device, this method should work for all of them. I already have a video like this on my channel, but as that's almost four years old now, I've decided to make an updated version. The old video still works, but there have been a few slight changes to the method. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. We're going to need to install a piece of software called Equalizer APO, and this will allow us to boost sounds on our PC. The link will be in the description, and once you follow it, you should get to the page that looks like this. As you can see, this software gets thousands of downloads every week. Click on the green download button here, where my mouse is, to start the download. The download should start automatically in 5 seconds. If the download doesn't start automatically, click on the grey problems downloading button here. Then click on the blue direct link button. This should now work. If you're using a 32-bit operating system, you will need to download that version from another place. Click on the downloads tab here and then select the 32-bit version. It should be the bottom of the three here. That should then start automatically downloading, but once again if it doesn't, use the direct link. Once the download has completed, open the installer, then select yes on the user account control screen. You may need admin privileges for this. When the installer opens, click next, then I agree, then choose a destination folder for the software. The default destination should be fine, but just remember where it is, as we'll need to go to it later. Click next and then install. Once the installation is complete, you'll be prompted with a window that asks you to choose a device. You need to choose the device you wish to boost the sound for. It could be called speakers, Realtek High Definition Audio, or the name of your device. If you don't see your device, you could try connecting it using another port on your PC. If you're unsure which is your device, select more than one, or even all of them, just to be sure. You select the devices by checking the boxes next to them. Now click OK when selected to move on to the next section. You will now need to restart your PC. You can do this now or later, just return to the video once you've done that. So hopefully you have restarted your PC and you are back now for the next part of the tutorial. Firstly, we need to find where we saved the software. The file should be called Equalizer APO. Open it and then select the application called Editor. If it says that Equalizer APO has not been installed to the selected device, Click yes and try another output device like earlier. Once you're in the software, it will have all the devices that it is installed to at the top. Choose your device from this list. If, once again, you aren't sure which your device is, change the settings for each of them until you find it. There should be a pre-amplification section at the top. If there isn't, click on the green plus icon, then basic filters, then preamp. Before you change the preamp, I would be careful when increasing the value as some headphones may not allow for more volume and I'm not responsible for any hearing loss or broken headphones, so please be careful when increasing it. You can manually adjust the gain with the arrows and if the instant mode box is checked, you should be able to hear a slight increase or decrease in the volume. Some headphones and devices may not change much and some not at all and this is likely to mean your headphones aren't designed to go any louder. If this is the case, you could try using your device with another connection or port. Before you exit the software, click File and then Save. Finally, if you ever want to uninstall the software, you can do so by running the Uninstall application, which is within the Equalizer APO folder. And that's it! I really hope the video helped. If it did, I would be grateful if you liked the video and subscribed. It really helps me out. If you have any questions or video ideas, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in another video.